Okay, my friends, this is an article by Fermilab, Don Lincoln, about the particles that they are trying to find, the muons and the electron neutrinos, and we have found them. Now, I would hope that maybe you could contact Don Lincoln at um, this email address and ask him to look into my research because he's not been receptive. So if you can help me, I would appreciate it. All right, let me show you that we have found these particles. They're not hard to find. Uh, um, and, and we found them, you know, pretty inexpensively. And we can create free energy from these particles, I believe, within a matter of a month or so, if we had some government interest. Okay, Don Lincoln showed you there's like a black and a white ball. Well, that's exactly what there is. And when they are in their energetic values, he's exactly right. The black ball is a fixed size with a little bit of a glow around the outside. The white particles, he's saying there might be point particles, have no mass whatsoever. I can't dispute that. I can't completely dispute that. I find it very hard to think something has no mass and can give off energy. But I see they can squish down and go through the venturi. So this is that particle that Don Lincoln was talking about. And the way we got to that black particle was we took a red pulsed laser and just right in the regular air, all these are gases that are, are glowing because the, the wave particle is coming through the air concussing with it. The wave is because of the magnetic field. The particle creates a magnetic field. Now here we have accelerated it and this is the point where they break into the black and white balls which separated. And, and then that's fission, and then they came back together, which is fusion. It's precisely what CERN and Fermilab and all the rest of them want. And these are those particles right there. And that's when they are attached. Now, when they do the fission and fusion, they do this. Right there. At the Venturi, they do the fission, and here they do the fusion. Here is raw energy, and this is exactly what CERN wants. The muon, black ball, stays black. The electron shower, white ball, the electron neutrino, the white ball, turns into an electron shower. There it is right there. So I think we have to use this to get free energy. Okay, so why was the title Free Energy in 30 Days or Bust? Well, because if we can't do this within 30 days, it's not going to be able to be done. It's, going to, it's so simple, we should be able to have this running in a week. All we have to do is get somebody with some basic machine shop tools, lathe, and a, not necessarily even a lathe, but a milling machines and so forth, to cut a little tiny slit in a, in a big slot like this, run the laser into it, and then we're going to get this. And if we can get this fission and fusion, here's how I think we can use it. We harvest it right in, in this white section before it gets back to the black. Here is where it got all the energy. Once it gets back to the black, eh, it's just another particle. But here, it wants so desperately to get back to the black. If we can root that down through some type of a collection device, I mean, we can just use all kinds of power and then let it get back to the black after we use it. And the same thing, we can use a little bit to come back to the laser. So we should be able to get scads, I mean literally scads of free energy back from this. And within a couple of weeks, all we have to do is show that the laser, and I don't have the ability to do that here, I don't have the tools, and the other guys that I worked with, they don't have either. But we can see this energetic increase. All we need to do is show that the laser usage of, of wattage, say it's 5 watts, the output after the Venturi picked up through a solar panel collected down into the receiver how many watts did we collect. If we collected over 5 watts, we're golden. Nobody's ever done it before. But we may be able to get 1,000 because it's supposed to be 207 times more powerful. If we got 1,000 and only harvested even 20%, that's still 200 instead of 5. That's so much energy you'll never be able to use it. And that's what we need to do. So I'm going to ask you to contact Don Lincoln, or not necessarily Don Lincoln, but somebody at Fermi Lab, and ask him to please look into this, okay? That's the email. It's today at fnal.gov. And they say, have a question? Yes, we have a lot of questions, <laughs> but you're going to have to answer them. You guys got to stand up and, and talk to me. I have, I'm showing 
pretty good evidence. And I'd like to see this investigated, because if we get free energy, and all of these components are nothing we have to design. There's nothing special. There's nothing gigantic. We don't have to dig any big holes. We just have to take the things off the shelf, make a good venturi, just exactly the right size, and then put the laser in front of it, put the collector behind it, and psh, attach it to some collection devices and, you know, battery packs and motors and whatever you want to run it, run it into. Free. And there's no expansion of gases, there's no combustion, there's no chance of a runaway nuclear explosion. We're only using light. It, it, there's nothing been better. Nothing ever has been better than this. And it's been avoided for the last seven years. Can I continue like this?